Hello my beautiful tulips! I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little garden area. I'm super super excited because my island is almost completely done. I'm like 86% done so I'm super super excited to do this little part for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to subscribe and join our little community. Bye and enjoy! So I started placing my stalls to kind of get an idea of how I was going to place my garden but I first wanted to see how many space I had because I wanted to add some waterscaping in the back but first I had to see how much space I had. Also this creator code will be down in the description or in my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram will always be in the description as well. This creator is super, super talented. And if you would like to do a garden of your own, you guys can feel free to do this as well. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be putting the creator's code either on my Instagram or down in the description. I want to quickly mention that this is going to be a garden shop. It's basically going to have a bunch of bushes, seeds, a register, everything you would kind of see at a garden shop. I quickly wanted to add that because I wasn't sure if I said garden, just like a garden, but I meant a garden shop. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I do want to add a couple waterscaping back here. So in order to do that, I'm going to be expanding this little area a little bit more. And then I'm going to be removing this tree over here to move it a little bit more to the side so I can add a little waterfall in the middle. So it was time to start the path, but in order to start the path, I wanted to see how much more space I had. So I did something off camera, uh, which is the two sides. I'm so sorry if you wanted to see that, but I was kind of struggling to do it. So I did it off camera. And now I'm just adding a bunch of decorations back here. I really wanted to add a bunch of decorations back here. That's why I left a big space in the back. But I'm just adding a bunch of flowers and bushes. And a couple decorations. I absolutely love how this little area turned out. If you guys want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and join my little community. I would really appreciate it. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do the speed build.
So now that I'm finished with the inside of the garden shop, now I'm going to be working in the front of the garden shop. So I'm going to be adding this garden bench and I'm going to be adding a sunflower rug with a beautiful statue on top. When creating this area, I wanted to keep it natural but also add a lot of colors. Um, as well, I wanted to mention thank you guys so much for your love and support. Um, you guys are really appreciated here and thank you guys. So I did the path off camera because it was taking me a long time to place it just because it was a small area and it was hard placing it so I didn't want this video to be super super long so I ended up doing it off camera. So I am going to be answering a couple questions you guys had for me on Instagram. So it's going to be a little mini Q&A. Uh, so let's start off with the first question. The first question is, what is your favorite thing about Animal Crossing? My favorite thing about Animal Crossing is you get to design your island however you want to. And I really like that about Animal Crossing. You can design however you want to, whatever theme you want to. I just... Yeah, so that's my favorite thing about Animal Crossing. Um, who is your favorite villager? I'd said Chevry. She's one of my favorite villagers. She's one of actually my starter villagers, and I've been keeping her on my island. Um, so which software do you use for your videos? I use Movavi, so I edit it on Movavi, and then I do my thumbnails with Pinterest. Wait, not Pinterest. <laughs> Pixar. <laughs> Um, and then I have another question. Will you ever restart your island to a theme that you never expect? Kid court, etc. Um, maybe. I don't really have the palette for kid court or fairy core, So probably in the future, but at the moment, not really because I don't have the palette for it. Um, and then my other question is, uh, who is your biggest Animal Crossing inspiration? I'd say Cozy Shy. I think that's how you say your name. Sorry if I put your name. But um, I love her videos. She has such good videos. And yeah. What is your unpopular opinion about Animal Crossing? Honestly, I'm not sure. Um, I'll think about it. <laughs> Where are you living in real life? I live in Arizona. So yeah. Okay. Another question is... If New Leaf was brought onto the Switch and it had graphics like New Horizon, would you buy it? Definitely. I would definitely, definitely buy it. Um, and then I have I have a couple more questions, but I'm not going to answer them all here. If you guys would like to ask me questions, I'll do a full video on a Q&A. So now I'm going to be decorating the cliffs and on the cliffs I'm going to be adding a bunch of flowers, bushes, and custom designs. I had so much fun with the cliffs. I added a bunch of flowers that I really never use on my island which is like pinks, purples, and blues. So I hope you guys enjoy the color palette that is in this area.
So like I mentioned earlier, my island is almost completely finished. I just have the beaches and a big area to do on my island, which is in front of the residence. Would you guys like me to just do it off camera or would you guys like to see a video on how I did it? Just let me know in the comments or on my Instagram because I really want to know because this video, well, my island's been taking like five months to decorate. So let me know if you guys would like a video on that or just an island tour already. So now I'm just doing what I did on the other side. I'm adding a bunch of flowers, custom designs, and bushes. I went with this umbrella. It just matched really well with this area. And I ended up adding this rug with a bird bath on top. It just looks really nice back there. And I added a couple more flowers and more custom designs. So I'm just working on the final touches of this cliff. I'm just adding a bunch of flowers and bushes. I absolutely love how this area looks. It looks so colorful, but at the same, so natural. So I'm done with this cliff as well, now I'm going to be working on the bottom. I will stop talking here so you guys can watch the rest of the speed bill. I'll see you guys back when I do a little tour at the end.
always, I'm going to be giving you guys a little mini tour of my garden shop. So when doing this build, I wanted to incorporate natural colors, but as well, really, really colorful flowers. I don't know if that makes sense, but right away you see this waterscaping and there's a bunch of flowers on top. I absolutely love this area. There's a garden bench, the beautiful statue, and I also added some flowers inside the garden shop. I just absolutely love how it looks and it's so photogenic. And then I added the menu. It was like a coffee menu, but I just turned it around. And I love the trees, the winter that's in the background. And then again, I added the beautiful statue with another garden bench. And then I ended up adding this wedding arch. And it just looks so pretty there. And next to it, it's just the new flowers. I don't know what they're called, but they're like a flower in a basket. And then as well over here, I end, ended up adding a bunch of flowers and bushes and custom designs. I absolutely love how this area turned out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, feel free to subscribe and join our little community. I would really appreciate it. It really helps my channel. And I also hope that you guys have a fantastic week. If you guys would like to follow me on my Instagram, it's ashplacecrossings without the s and on the crossings and on the plays but anyways thank you guys so so much i hope you guys have a fantastic day bye everybody and enjoy the rest of your week slash weekend